do not buy the debuff skill book package. That's the hot take of this video. And I'm going to explain why. Hi guys, Aka here. I wasn't really planning on doing an update video for this latest update, uh, simply because there wasn't much interesting stuff in there. I mean, Ebony brought Kong back, which I guess is okay. And it's kind of cool that they included a new trivia feature which people have been playing around with and it's a nice change but other than that not much else exciting in this update in my opinion however a few people had asked me about this debuff skill book package so that's why i'm making the video for anyone that doesn't know ebony released a package that you can buy debuff skill books to put on your generals to get to the package you come down here to valuable event once you tap on it, you scroll over at the top until you get to debuff skill book package. And here it is. Okay. It's a hundred dollar package and you get some stuff in there. Amongst the stuff that you get, you have, as you see right here, the debuff skill book chest. And you get four of these chests in each package. So if you use double downs, which you can use, then you'd be getting eight books for a hundred dollars. Okay. That's what you'd get. Now let's look at what's inside these debuff skill book chests. So you tap on it and you can see a number of debuff skill books that you could possibly get. And some of these look enticing. Uh, take for example, this one here it says level four enemy ground trip attack. Okay. That's something that I'd be interested in. And right here on this screen are the two biggest problems for why you should not buy this package. The first one, if you look here, it says open to receive one of the debuff skill books inside. So you would randomly get any of these books that are in here, not even the one that you want, and maybe not at the level that you want. That's annoying very annoying very frustrating even okay why should you spend a hundred dollars for this level of randomness i don't know if you look at the pack we can't see anywhere that gives you percentages for which of the debuff books that you can get so if we assume an even probability for all of them then that's a very small chance that you will get the book that you want at the level that you want Okay, so that's the first biggest problem with this pack. Then let's look at this. Okay, I said I was interested in the ground attack book. Let's look at the level four book. It says reduces enemy ground troop attack by 15%. That's nice. Okay, 15% ground attack debuff. Yes, I would want to take that. But let's read on when the general is leading the army to attack and that my friends is the second biggest problem with this pack and why you should not buy it because as it appears these skill books are only active when attacking yeah when attacking not when defending or in general when attacking and if you put that together with the randomness that you get from these skill book chests, they are practically useless. Yeah. For the majority of people, you will get no significant benefit from getting these skill books. Why do I say that? Because where you really need these debuffs is defending. Yeah. So getting a skill book that gives you debuffs when attacking is kind of pointless. Honestly, it really is. And it's not rocket science. Ebony could easily figure this out on their own. I mean, okay, let's take a look at it. There are so many things in the game right now that give you so much of an advantage when you are attacking. You have Civ Gear, okay? You get a lot of debuffs from Civ Gear, right? Then we have the astrology or whatever the hell this thing is called. You get more buffs from this. You get buffs and debuffs from your save treasures. You get even more debuffs when attacking from 
your military academy and all the other places that you get buffs from. Why do you now need a debuff skill book to get more debuffs when you're attacking? It makes little sense. And aside from all of those things that we just mentioned, there's also the Monarch gear that Ebony has been releasing. We have this one here where you get troop attack debuffs when attacking. And then there's this new one that they released where you get defense debuffs when attacking as well. So you have all of these things. Why do you still need debuff skill books for attacking? And like I said, it's not rocket science. The majority of people in this game need debuffs. Yes, I agree, but they need debuffs for defending, not for attacking. And let's look at it realistically, okay? For most people, most people from average to intermediate to even advanced players, what are your maximum buffs on defense? A player with a good defense, you'll probably be looking at somewhere in 1,200% range for your buffs on defense. To debuff that in half, you need at least 600% debuffs, which most people with fully geared up subs will have. Yes, most players that will be attacking you in terms of attack debuffs will probably meet that already. So either way, when you're taking an attack from a player that is including their subs, most of your attack stats are going to be cut in half. That's already a given. Then what now becomes important are the other stats that they debuff, things like defense, things like HP. But like I said, you already get a lot of those debuffs in the military academy. Take for example, if we go to Siege, let's look at this one. Reduces enemy Siege HP by 20% when attacking. And this is just level 1. If you work on your military academy, you get a lot of debuffs in there. If you have save gear, you get a lot of debuffs in there. So spending a hundred dollars to get 15% on a debuff skill book when you're attacking doesn't really add significant benefit. And that is why I feel that this pack is no good. And I'm going to be straight with you guys. Okay. Of course, you know, I'm doing the promotion for Aptoid. Aptoid is great if you're trying to get discounts on your purchases. It helps you save a bit of money. And if you use the code Red Ebony, it also helps out the channel. But if you're going to use that, you should use it on things that will actually benefit you in the game. Things like getting the regular pack, for example. There's a lot of stuff in here that would actually help you, that will actually move you along in the game. And if we compare that pack to the debuff skill book pack, there's a lot of stuff you're missing out on just to get these debuff skill books that are not going to be worth much. You don't get any stamina in these packs. You don't get any source of life. There's no blood of Ares in these packs. There's no March speed ups. There's no March size buffs. You don't get any of the optional chests. So you can get things like the ruby necklaces for your champions. You miss out on all of that just to get these skill books. So if you are going to coin in this event, I recommend that you get the regular pack. Of course, use Aptoid, Code Red Ebony, and you will get all of these things here, including the new debuff Monarch gear. And check this out. You get this gear and you get 18% defense debuff for the gear that you get. And of course, these gears, you can compose them to higher levels, much more valuable than the debuff skill books that Ebony is offering right now, which is why I recommend that you don't buy them. Okay, that's it for me, guys. Thank you very much. Aka signing out.